Hi, I'm Lauren Lee Smith and we're here at La Societe for my Toro Woman photo shoot. I did. I used to model, oh gosh, when I was like, I started when I was about 12 years old and, and I believe my career ended when I was 17. Um, <laughs> I love it. You know, you get to sort of create these little mini characters for a few hours and it's always fun. Acting has been a dream of mine since I was, gosh, three years old, since I, I could walk and talk. It's basically what I knew I wanted to do. And we moved around quite a lot uh, growing up, so it was a little bit hard to, to have the stability to really focus on that, which is why modeling sort of came in handy for a few years. And it was fun, but I always knew that, that acting is ultimately what I wanted to do. And I guess when I was 18, I was in Korea modeling, and I was just like, okay, this is it. I need to call it. I need to just focus on the acting career. And I went back to Vancouver and got an agent, and I got really lucky. I got my first job within six months, and sort of have continued working since then. So that's good. <laughs> What I usually look for in roles is to play something that is as far away from myself as possible. For me, it's essentially pretty boring to just sort of play yourself. And I like to get to explore aspects of the, the humankind that you, you don't get to play every day and aspects of a personality that I don't necessarily have and, and really sort of go outside of yourself. I also tend to look at what I have done previously, what I've just finished doing, and I try to sort of go opposite from that so you don't, you know, get pigeonholed into sort of one kind of genre or one kind of character. And that to me is, is what makes it so interesting, what makes it so fun. Wow, my dream role. I went and saw Terrence Malick's Tree of Life, I guess a year, a year ago, and that to me was like filmmaking at its finest. A lot of people will disagree with me, but to me that was like my ultimate. So my dream role would have been to be in that film or like Kate Blanchett and Elizabeth was incredible. I would love to do a period piece. I've also never done like a full on horror movie, like been the girl that like screams and runs the whole movie where you're just like, leave the damn house already. Why don't you leave? Why are you still there? I've never done that, so that would also be kind of fun. <laughs> I can scream like nobody's business, so I think I'd be pretty good at that. If I could have any power, I would want to be able to fly. And I also, I'm terrified of planes, like I hate flying, so... Uh, <laughs> so I would never get on another plane ever again. I would just fly myself everywhere. I would go to Spain. That's where, I want, that's where I'd like to be right now, on a day like today. Oh my goodness. Three essential things that people should know about me? I don't think there's anything that, that is essential that people know about me. <laughs> I am a huge dog lover. I have two black labs that we rescued, Ben and Wilbur. I guess maybe something that people don't know is, is I'm kind of a country girl at heart. I was born in Chilliwack, BC, which is really out, out there in British Columbia. Um, and I still own a house out in Cultus Lake, so a lot of people don't know that. My country roots, my dad's a cowboy. And the third, secretly when I'm driving and in the shower, I am like a full-on rock star. Like really, I am. No one else thinks so, but like I am a rock star when I'm by myself. You know, really, I'll go, I'll go anything. Like I'll, I'll switch up genres. I'll be a pop star. I'll be like a full-on metalhead. I'll be like grunge rock. I'll, I'll totally mix it up. Rap, you know, sometimes a little gangster rap. Yeah. <laughs> you know what, I don't think anyone would hire me to sing ever, but I'm working on it, we'll see. <laughs>